to another video. I am so excited to be filming this video because it is the very first video installment of my No Money March series. So if you don't know what No Money March is, it is basically a series that I'm going to be doing for the whole month of March where I feature a ton of drugstore and affordable brands and products. The main focus is going to be beauty and fashion, but I might throw in some lifestyle things here and there. What is basically going to go on on my blog and on my YouTube channel is there's going to be a lot of reviews, um, a lot of makeup tutorials, a lot of tips and tricks to saving money, and today's video installment is going to be a drugstore beauty haul. So I've been collecting quite a few things over the past couple of months and I thought I would share some of them with you. Some of these things are things that were sent to me to be reviewed and others I purchased myself. So let's get started. So the first things that I have in this haul are actually hair care products and these products were sent to me from Tresemme. Um, I got this around Valentine's Day and I was very very happy with them. So I got all three of the products from their Beautiful line, um, and this is basically um, a conditioner, a shampoo, and then I think this is some sort of leave-in conditioner or like some hair maximizer or something like that. I've been using these two products every single time I wash my hair. I've actually noticed quite a difference with my hair. My hair is usually quite flat because um, it, it is quite heavy and there is quite a bit of it. Um, but I feel like whenever I use these products, it always gets a little bit more bouncy. Um, for longer periods of time. So what you do with this system is you actually use the conditioner first and then the shampoo. I don't know if that makes a difference with any other shampoos, but I know it definitely works with these two. I also really like the smell of these products. It's kind of like this very fresh, oceany smell, which I love, and the bottles are just really cute. I have to say, I haven't really been using um, this hair maximizer as much. I feel like it weighs down my hair a little bit. I feel that whenever I do use this, because I don't wash my hair every single day, um, this really weighs my hair down a little bit and makes it feel a little bit more oily. That being said, I do still really like the shampoo and conditioner and I definitely will repurchase those. So thank you Tresemme for sending me these products. I don't actually know how I got these, but thank you. These next two products were also sent to me for review, but it was sent to me through a website called Influencer. I will leave their link down below and maybe you guys can get some things for free too. But I was actually chosen to receive these new Biore products, and these are their baking soda cleansers. So this one is like their bog standard cleanser. It is a baking soda cleanser, and it smells amazing. So as you can tell, I've used quite a bit of it. The line kind of goes almost over here, and it's just basically a really light exfoliator. Um, I don't use this every day, but um, when I need a little bit more of a deep cleanse, then I go for this one. And the second product I got, I was really intrigued by, and it is actually a powdered cleanser. Um, I actually didn't know how to use this for a very long time, but essentially what you do is you dampen your face with water, you pour a little bit of this powder into your hand, and then you gently massage it into your skin. This is also a gentle exfoliator, much like the other one in the line, um, but I find this is just really cool and really handy to have. I think these products are really good for combination skin, and I think it's really cool to have like baking soda as a cleanser. These are both really nice cleansers, and I will have a full review of them on my blog soon. So moving on to some more fun makeup bits, I got two things from L'Oreal, and the first item that I got is their L'Oreal Magic Lumi Primer. Um, I know it's called a different thing in different areas of the world. Um, it could be the Lumi Magic one, but this one just says magic, so... So I am an avid believer of priming your skin before putting on your makeup, but I haven't tried um, anything from the drugstore yet, so I'm really excited to try this. I love the rest of the Lumi line from L'Oreal, and I'm really interested in trying this. And speaking of the L'Oreal Lumi line, I also did pick up one of their cushion foundations. Um, you would have seen me use this in my Valentine's Day tutorial, and it is just a really nice um, circle compact with a mirror and it comes with a little cushion that I will never use and if you open up this compartment um, you have your sponge with your foundation soaked into it. So I use this on my skin today and I find it really really nice and really buildable. I'm going to be using this in more of my tutorials coming up within No Money March so stay tuned for that. I think I picked up the lightest shade. This is in N2 um, and I think it is a pretty good match to my skin right now. It is a little bit pink for me, but I think it kind of works. I feel like this would be really good in the summertime because it is a little bit lighter than the original Lumi, and it works really well with a beauty blender. So on to some more miscellaneous items. I did pick up a new liquid liner from NYC because I was feeling like I was missing out on this liquid liner train. 
Um, and I also want to try out doing some more cat flicks and things. I don't think cat flicks necessarily suit my face shape, but I wanted to try anyways. I heard a lot of great things about this liner, and it is so cheap, so I decided to pick it up. And I just got it in the extreme black. The applicator is a brush tip as well, so I'm going to have to practice quite a bit with this. Sticking with the eye theme, I also picked up a new mascara. This one is from Maybelline, and it is the Falsies Push Up Drama. Um, again, you would have seen this in my Valentine's Day tutorial. I just love the packaging. The colors in this is so pretty. This is actually also the mascara that I featured in my February favorites. Um, I was really surprised about this because I only just got it and I absolutely loved it from the get-go. I'm going to be using this a lot in my upcoming tutorials. It has a really nice plastic brush that actually gives me a lot of length and a lot of volume. I feel like when I use the Maybelline Lash Sensational, um, I didn't get enough um, length versus this one, so this might be holy grail worthy. I also have a new lip color from e.l.f. So this is the e.l.f. Matte Lip Color and it is in the shade Praline. It is actually the lip color I am wearing today and it is really nice. It's kind of like it's kind of like a pinky brown color but it's kind of like a nude as well. It is coming up a little pink on camera but it is definitely like a brownie nudish color. I still really like this. It is very comfortable on the lips. I feel weird that I'm kind of doing like mini reviews in this haul. I feel like it's supposed to be a haul but I've tried out most of these products already. It's fine. I'll be alright. Sorry. So I've been looking for this next lip color for so long, and it is the Maybelline Color Sensational The Buffs. And I have it in the shade 950 Untainted Spice. I've been looking for some of the other colors in this line for so long, um, cinnamon in particular, but I decided that this color was way too pretty um, to give up. And it is kind of like this really nice dark brownie um, color. It's almost like a berry, but more brown, and I just love it so much. It goes on so smooth and so creamy. I've been wearing it a lot lately, and it just keeps my lips moisturized while giving me a lot of color. This also kind of reminds me of some of the MAC lipsticks. Um, it reminds me of the cream sheen finish, but it's kind of like... It kind of reminds me of um, MAC's lip liner in Whirl, and it's just really pretty and half the price. This lipstick is probably going to be in my March favorites, so that's a little preview for you guys. Again, I did a lot of shopping um, at NYX. I went to their Toronto location and picked up a lot of cool things. The first item being a NYX blush, and this is in the shade Taupe, and I am so in love with this. Again, this is one of those items that I featured in um, my favorites video, and it is just a really nice um, gray-toned brown that I like using in my contour. It is really nice, really natural. I've actually already made a few dents in it. Um, it is looking a little worse for wear, um, but I think it is just a really nice shade that is so versatile on so many skin tones. I like using this as contour, as blush, as eyeshadow, and a crap ton more things. I will have a blog post on this soon. So the next two items I got are Wonder Products from NYX, and the first one is the NYX Wonder Pencil. This is basically a crap ton of products all in one. Um, it says here it is a concealer, an eye brightener, a reverse lip liner in one. You can literally do everything with this. Um, you can overdraw your lips, you can clean up underneath your eyebrows, you can use this as eyeliner. It is literally so versatile, so that's why I picked this up. And I also picked up their Wonder Stick, which has one side which is a contour and the other side which is a concealer. So I picked this up in the shade Light. They did have a universal one, but I found that a little bit too orangey for me. Um, so this side is the highlight, which is very, very, very white. This concealer side is a little bit more dry versus the contour side, which is really, really nice. It is probably my favorite in this little duo. You can already see it's covered in my foundation. Um, and it's really, really nice and really creamy, this one and it's not too orangey, which I love. I always find that drugstore contours and bronzers are always a little bit too orangey for people that are pale like me, but I find that this product has just the perfect amount of warmth in it, but is still quite gray toned. I showed some of these lip products before. Um, I have one of the new NYX lingerie lipsticks. This one is in the shade Bedtime Flirt, and then I also have a soft matte lip cream, which is in my favorite color of all time, Budapest. So this NYX lingerie is a completely matte lipstick. 
Um, and it is supposed to be in all of the nude shades. I think they might have these back in stock um, in the store. These are really nice and creamy and dry to a complete matte. Again, this is picking up a little bit more pink than it actually is. This is a little bit more of um, a pinky brown color. Now that I put that swatch on my hand, it's going to stay there for the rest of the day. Trust me guys, these do not come out easy. And the second lip product um, is Budapest, their soft matte lip cream. I love these things so much. This is such a pretty shade. It's like a muted berry color. Oh my god, it is so pretty. I've been literally wearing this all the time. And it's just so comfortable to wear. I love NYX products so much. And the very last product that I have I am very excited about. And this is um, the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. Um, I heard that this is almost an exact dupe to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. And I'm really excited to try it. Um, I got this in the shade Ash Brown which kind of matches um, the orange bits in my hair right now, um, and it does come with a spoolie. I have it in my brows today, and it is quite similar to the Anastasia one. Again, I will have a blog post on it soon. As you can see, it has a very fine nib, just like the Anastasia one, and man, I think it's amazing. NYX is literally doing all of the best products at the moment, so I really suggest you guys check them out. So that is it for my first installment of No Money March. I hope you guys enjoyed the haul. So there's going to be a ton of content coming your way. I will link down all the blog posts um, that are already live on my blog now. There will be a lot more of me on this YouTube channel for this month, so I hope you guys are excited for that. Please subscribe if you haven't already. You do not want to miss out on anything in No Money March. I have all my social media down below as well. But I think that is it for me today, guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye.